14k is crazy. The best content in Remnant 2 is the glitches, the bugs, and the exploits. Just go ahead and peek real quick. 9,000. 4,300. You're getting destroyed, my boy. Oh, did no, no, no. Don't kill it. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that was way more fun. I've had more fun in the last two minutes than I did in the last few hours trying to make the freaking new Corrupted Meridian decent. Oh my, my god. Come on, Remnant 2. Just make, make the fun stuff good, please. Instead, it's all the exploits that make the fun stuff really strong. In this case, it's not so much fun as it is interesting. Because AFKing is, I wouldn't call that fun. But this is wacky. Hitting for 9k with the freaking flamethrower turret. That's neat. How do I... I guess you can't just win it. And then now... Okay, so crits don't matter. Ah, oh. You can get more damage. Those crits mean nothing to my turret. Nothing, Mizwar. Nothing. 82.56. Cool. This should be multiplicative. 82.56. No change. Ah, that... This could be big. 82.56. Nothing works. Uh, I can't find anything I'm looking for. Increased fire damage by 10%. If that doesn't work, I'm not sure what to say. Eighty-five, eighty-four. It works. You see, I have to go through here. I'm going through hoops right now. Well, I have a ring I can use that people won't like. Like this build, that you don't have to use it if you don't want to. But it is the most damage that I've seen so far, which isn't saying a whole lot. Fifty-nine. Okay. I mean, it's an extra 400 damage. And in this build, you're not supposed to do anything but dodge. I think it's a fair trade-off. And it's not my fault that half the, half the rings don't work. It's not my, my fault and also not my problem. All right, we have the most damage I can think of. So let's go ahead and save the build. Loadouts are a nice addition. I like them a lot. There's no names, but hey, man. There was no loadouts before, so... Come on. I'm going to summon him inside. Last time he kind of glitched out, which is weird. Roll. He's getting absolutely decimated beyond belief. With thick skin, I'm pretty sure that should hit for a lot more. Dude, that feels pretty funny. Pretty good. What, what? What is this? Increased weak spot damage by 10%. Oh, I think it's from my room pistol. Eighty-seven twenty-five. It's so perplexing. So that, that gives me 5% more damage. Does momentum work? That's 6k. Huh? That's 6k for reduced to heat generation by 25%. It's like it's scaling off just the numbers. I pretty much went from this to this. And finally, this. From like 480, maybe like 2k, to 8k, to now 13,530 at the highest end on a test dummy. It does around almost 15k on actual targets. Boom. Trapper. Oh, they did not add more modifiers. Oh my god, this game is Kringles. On this boss, builds usually aren't that cool because the boss can just go immune so much. A little unfortunate. Oh, if you just backspace, you're fine. Okay, so Trapper will spawn if you do a dodge roll like that, but not if you do a backspace dodge. Okay. 
Avoid that if I can. Nice. Hitting for 1200 crits does look kind of crazy. The double top undo. I'm okay with that. There's one thing I'll probably repeat a lot, and it, that is that I think you shouldn't have modifiers on bosses in, in these kind of games, unless it's for a specific challenge or something of the sort. Your soul one is crazy. I missed that dodge, but it's fine. I didn't get stunned. One shot. One thing. Ooh, the flyers hit for 6k total. It would have died so much faster if it didn't have elemental resists. Before I go into detail on the build, I must first ease some nerves. Do not worry about my armor or lack thereof, or my amulets and rings. You can unequip everything and still do around 4k damage base with the turret, using the right mutators. Cool? Cool. Now, with my armor choices and my amulets and stuff, this gives me the most damage possible. Dead of a charm, you get 30% 30 30 damage total when having no armor equipped, so check. Bird Destroyer, Alumni Ring... Firestone and the Worn Admiral's Ring. The build is for bosses, not for ad or trash clearing, but you do you. And then your mutators matter. Spirit Healer is for healing, but for some reason it's the Spirit Damage Dealer. It gives you like 4,000 more damage to your turret base. Not sure why. Then our melee weapon, we have Opportunist. It also makes your turret do more damage and your summons and whatnot. And Ingenuity. Same freaking thing. I don't know why it does this stuff, but it does. It is ridiculous. And then for my relic, I got skill damage, skill cooldown, and elemental damage. They all affect your turret. I've been hearing some folks saying, or recently I heard someone say that they're using the uh, the handler. You could do that, and that might be wise. I might give that a gander in a moment, but I'm using summoner because why not? And this is all thanks to someone on YouTube that I just pulled the name of, Scott Monish 4969 They said, uh, wait... Spirit Healer's bugged and is making Engineer Turrets do like 10k a shot on the Flame Turret. When I first read that, I said 10k healing, question mark, or 10k damage. And I tested it, and it's it's damage. They meant damage. So the video is all possible thanks to Scott Monish. So everyone give a big thank you to Scott. Appreciate you, homie. Thanks for the uh, the content idea. It means a ton. So that's the build. And just for giggles, I'll go ahead and test and see what the damage looks like with... so. On the, on the dummy, it does around 7k. On actual targets, you'd probably do like around 11k. So 7k with that. Now, what's the damage using Handler? And I guess... Where's the damage one? Boom. I'm gonna go rest and see... If I hit for more than 7k with the buff active, that's a W. Because with this kind of damage, you should be killing things really quickly. That's kind of the hope. I don't know if they changed it or if you ever could, but... With the summoner, aren't you able to pop a relic and have it increase your turret's damage too? Or does it only affect your other minions? An extra 1100 damage for free? What in the... I... I guess I was wrong. Use summoner, guys. Please use summoner. Or not summoner. Use handler. What the... Wh what is making it do so much more damage? Summoner should be more damage. I'm so perplexed and confused. Is it because you get more healing? Just so folks know that the build is still good, even if you don't have crazy stuff, I'm going to do a quick showcase of the damage with no nothing equipped. It won't be the same damage, but it won't be bad. I don't think. I hope. I pray. 6k ain't bad. Freaking nine, almost 10k with nothing equipped, dude. Okay. So none of this whole... He's using stuff I can't even get, bro. He's using in-game stuff, bro. He's, oh my God, this guy's such a such an idiot, bro. He's not making builds for the average casual gamer. Just change the stuff, man. Just, just change this to whatever you want to use. 
I'm giving you a template. You can change it however you want. I get that kind of comment way too often. Like, I want to do stuff. I want to use whatever is the best in slot that I can think of. And that tends to be stuff that comes with a negative aspect in Remnant 2. Oh, whatever. Plant the turret. Send the dog out. Fourteen eighty three, bro. And they hit through even that immune phase. I'm recording, thank God. Wow. And we got Crimson Membrane. I needed to make Merciless again. Nice. Yeah, it's kind of busted. I wouldn't say it's like the most... It's, it's awesome, but you aren't really doing a whole lot. The cool thing for me was figuring out how to make it do insane damage. Because I heard initially it does, it does 10k damage, which is already crazy. But through some testing, finding out that Ingenuity, Opportunist, also give you a lot more damage. Like Spirit Hill is crazy to begin with, but those affect it. And all the other aspects that give it more damage as well. Some of them make sense. Like these all make sense to give more damage, but other options that didn't work, it, is, it makes no sense they don't work. But that's the fun part. So hopefully there's more exploits. If there are, let me know in the comments or just like, you know, a DM or something because I'll make a video on it if it's interesting. And thank you all very much for watching the video. Be sure to check out some Apex content here soon. Okay? I'd appreciate it. I, can, I can't just make it by making remnant content because there's not enough content to do that. So watch my other stuff if you want to. It would be awesome. But anywho, thanks for watching. Appreciate you very much. Have a good day. Please. Now, to be clear, I'm not facing trash mobs with this build. I'm using this build to run by them because I don't fight trash mobs in this game. That stuff is boring as hell. That's just me after a freaking 300 plus hours. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done facing trash mobs. I want to fight bosses and I'm praying for the day the game makes an expedition mode where I can just fight the bosses I want to fight. That's all I'm looking forward to. Never seen Until like then, I have a speed run build where all, all you do is run fast. That's it.